So in this tutorial, I'll be talking about generic classes and methods. Specifically, generics allow you to uh, build classes and methods that handle uh, different types of t uh, data instead of using uh, one class and one method to handle each type of uh, data that you use in your software uh, program that you're designing. Anyways, what are generic classes? Generic classes allow you to use one class for handling multiple types instead of a class for each type. And generic classes make generic objects which can be specified a type when the uh, object is instantiated. And for example, we have the public class app and it has um, it's instantiating uh, three object three different objects and th uh, these objects are made from the generic class. Uh, when, when these uh, objects are instantiated from the generic class, they're not assigned a type. And when you, ass when you instantiate the class, that's when you assign the type, as you can see, uh, see here. Uh, over here, it's uh, assigned the integer type. Over here, it's assigned the string type and the float type. The reason why you want to um, assign the objects a type, uh, the generic objects a type, is say, for example, if you have the integer box um, object, if you don't want this to um, accept uh, string values, you have to assign it an integer type and over here as you can see in the generic class there's no specific uh, type that it um, handles but because it handles all different types and to do this you use uh, the um, the, carrot, the left and right caret and the t to assign it the generic type t and uh, this class is composed of an instance variable and the constructor assigns that instance variable x to the object and then um, when you you can call the value of the object using the get method and then if you want to ask what are generic methods generic methods allow you to use one method to handle to handle multiple uh, data types instead of one method for each type of data and uh, let me show you an example without generic uh, without a generic method to show you that the code becomes bulkier with the uh, without using generics so over here we have the class um, Bucky class and this is inspired from the new Boston tutorials he's he's really good I, I recommend you check him out anyways so in his uh, um, in the main class or the main method you have the integer array the character ar array and then we have the print me methods that handle two different data types the integer and the character um, uh, data types and so that means you have to make a separate uh, method for each data type one for the integer and one for the character and what these do is um, let's see I see it just prints out um, each a different letter now if you want to shorten that code up and make it easier what you do is um, let's see uh, assign it the generic method public static t void print me and um, what this does allow uh, it ignores what the data types of the arrays are so you can use um, regardless of the data type both arrays in one single method all right I've, i left the notes to the to this tutorial in the um, description below please ask if you have any questions thank you for listening